Hey, good morning. Kyler Hawthorne here from Veracity Motors. I just wanted to shoot you a real quick walk around video on our 2022 Chevy Traverse LS that we have here. So it has about 67,000 miles on it. We've got a Veracity value priced at $24,699. So I'll go ahead and show you the overall condition of it, some of the awesome features it has, and everything like that. All right, here it is. The 2022 Chevy Traverse LS. Overall, this is a very nice third row equipped all-wheel drive SUV. And overall, it is in great shape. Here at the back, you do have your reverse camera, as well as your rear parking sensors in the rear bumper. Then here's kind of what your cargo space is looking like. Like I said, this does have the third row equipped in it, and you've got a pretty darn good amount of space back here with the third row up. If you do need more space, you can drop this third row down, and all you have to do is pull this little lever, and it'll drop that third row uh, down flat for you, and it'll give you a ton more cargo space. It's kind of what the third row legroom is looking like as well. Now, one nice thing is you can move that second row forwards and backwards to adjust how much legroom you want and where you want it at. Got a very nice set of wheels on this one. And the tires have plenty of life left in them. They're basically brand new. This one does have the proximity key on all four doors as well. So you just walk up, hit the button, and it'll unlock for you. And then here's what things are looking like in the second row. Plenty of legroom back here. And like I mentioned, if you need to adjust the legroom for the third row, all you have to do are use the little adjustment levers here and you can slide that seat forwards or backwards. If you wanna access the third row uh, to get back there, all you have to do is give this lever a pull. And You've got a nice uh, access way into that third row. Here in the back here, you do have some temperature controls as well as some USB ports. All right, here's what things are looking like up front. You've got a gray cloth interior on this one. Overall, the seats are in great shape. There are a couple of very minor little spots here in the driver's seat. Um, nothing too major there. They're not like holes or anything. I think they're just really small little stains. Other than that, the seats are in great condition. All of your controls for the seats are here. So you move that seat forwards or backwards. You can raise it up or lower it. You've got your backrest adjustments and then your lumbar support. Then over here on the door, here's kind of what things are looking like. You got that same black and tan com color combo going on. Got your power mirrors, uh, the adjustability controls for them, your power window locks, your power windows, and your power door locks. Now hopping into the driver's seat. Here's kind of what things are looking like from the driver's seat. So you'll notice right off the bat, you got a very nice digital center stack on here. Lots of great driving information that is available to you. If you want to adjust any of that information, all you have to do is use these arrows here on the right side of the steering wheel. And you can scroll up or down through all of that different information that you have access to. A couple of the controls you've got here. So you've got the voice recognition system on here, the cell phone button. You've got your cruise control over here on the left and then the pre-collision detection system that you can adjust the distances uh, for that collision alert. Uh, just to the right of the steering wheel here, you've got your windshield wipers. And then just to the left is gonna be your blinkers and brights. This one does have the automatic brights built into it as well, which is very nice. And just to the left of the steering wheel on the dash, you've got all your lighting control. And then over here in the center console, Here's kind of what your entertainment section's looking like. So you got a nice big touch screen on here. Uh, got pretty much all the modern capability. You've got the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as the Bluetooth, AM, FM, satellite radio, all of that different stuff. Like I mentioned, this one has a very nice reverse camera built into it as well. It gives you a very nice clear display of everything behind you. Uh, just below that, you've got all your climate controls. So dual climate control on this one. You can adjust the temperature individually for each side of the vehicle. And then you've got all your different zones and things like that. Just below that, you've got a 12 volt port as well as 
a couple of USB ports, and then your auxiliary port there as well. And then you got a real nice little storage area. Just behind that, you've got your shifter here on the left, your cup holders. Uh, just behind that, you've got your electronic parking brake, your auto start stop that you can turn on or off, your lane guidance system, and then your all wheel drive adjustability. Got a very nice big center console on here. Tons of storage space available to you there. This one does have the removable tray built into it as well. So if you've got smaller stuff that you don't want rolling around in the bottom there, you can throw it up in here and you can easily take it out uh, or whatever you need to do there. Over on the passenger side here, you've got a nice big glove box. Got tons of storage space available to you there. Still got your original owner's manual in there as well. And then here's just kind of a general overview of how everything is looking in the 2022 Chevy Traverse. All right, so like I said, just a real quick walk around video on our 2022 Chevy Traverse. Uh, if you have any questions, if there's anything you wanna see in more detail, just let me know. You can reach me at the store, 701-258-2277. Just ask for Kyler. Thank you.